This video explains how to generate a PDF file from a website page and format it. Here we go. But make sure to hit the like button in case you enjoyed, and subscribe to not miss new content. As part of the page API, Puppeteer exposes a method called PDF, which allows us to generate a PDF file from the page. This method is typically useful when we want to save or document the content of the page for later. So, to get started, we should merely invoke the PDF method of the page instance, and insert a path for the generated output file, using the path option. It's important to make sure we do pass a path, because otherwise the file won't be generated. Great, let's run the script for the first time, and we'll notice that the file is actually created and represents the website we navigated to. As we see, the background design might be missing in some places, although the structure and the content are all right. This happens because of the print background option, which has falsy value by default. Let's set the option to true, run the script once again, and check out the output. So now the output file looks pretty much the same as the website, which is great. The next thing we're going to demonstrate is formatting the document according to our needs. Well, sometimes we need to scale the rendering of the page, in order to resize the output document, and that's easily achievable using the scale option, which accepts a real number between 0.1 and 2, when the default is obviously 1. As an example, we set a scale of 0.5, and the result is that the document is actually reduced 0.5 of the original size. So we know how to scale the document, but we might ask ourselves, what about the measurements of the paper itself? It turns out it's super easy to adjust the paper measurements, and all we need to do is using the format option. This option accepts a list of predefined sizes and inches, that we can quickly check out at the official documentation. Anyway, the default format is letter, so let's format it to A6, and indeed, the paper measurements were changed. Important to note that in case the measurements we need aren't available, we can always set them manually using the width and height options, as pixels, inches, centimeters or even millimeters. Having said that, we must keep in mind that when the format option is also provided, the width and height are ignored. Besides, we can set margins to the paper using the margin option, and also change the paper orientation using landscape option. Here's how it looks. Another cool feature is the ability to customize the header and footer templates of the document, through a valid HTML markup that would be injected into it. This is useful when we want to attach general information in regards of the document for all its pages. In order to start, we should enable the display header footer option which is false by default. On top of that, we will apparently need to add some margin to the top or bottom in favor of the header or footer respectively. As an example, let's customize the header template using the header template option, but before doing that, we will check out the documentation of this option. As we mentioned, it accepts a valid HTML markup, and also a couple of predefined classes that we can inject. These classes allows us injecting information in regard to the document, such as the title, date, URL and more. Knowing that, let's practically customize the header template. Basically what we're doing is passing a development, and style it a little so it would adjust to the scale we applied. Then we insert some simple text and a span element having the title class, which will eventually contain the title of the page. Remember that we added margin on the top, so we expect to see the text somewhere inside. Let's run the script one more time and we will notice the text and the title were actually inserted into the document. Likewise, we could customize the footer using footer template which accepts the same predefined classes we checked out. We're not going to demonstrate, but you apparently could imagine what will happen if we replace header template option with that, and also add a margin on the bottom, and if not, give it a try. Don't forget to hit the like button in case you enjoyed, and to subscribe to my channel.